Welcome to Super Swimmer, your African window on the world of aquatics. In this edition, Ghana African Swimming Championships from Accra, Ghana. We feature junior and senior highlights from day two. And then, the Cradle Moon Open Water Swim Challenge. This action from Milders Drift, north of Johannesburg. Stay with us and check it out right here on Super Swimmer. We are in Accra, Ghana, on the eastern side of the Atlantic Ocean, in the Gulf of Guinea. The 14th African Swimming Championships recently took place in this Olympic-sized pool. This is the Bukom International Pool situated inside the impressive Trust Sport Emporium. 42 African countries and no less than 400 swimmers took part in the 14th edition of the African Swimming Championships. Six days of pool action will determine the best Africa has to offer. The timed finals took place in the morning. Here, our junior stars could shine. The finals catering for our senior swimmers took place late afternoon. This is the A-final men's 50-meter butterfly. South Africa's Guy Brooks wins here. Um, I went out very comfortable, uh, 25 low, which is the plan. Well, actually a little slower than what we were supposed to go, but Definitely got some more for the final tonight with the seniors. But yeah, it was a close race. Had fun racing the guys, super cool. Uh, spoke to them in the uh, room, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with my time. Um, I think I could do better in the finals, but um, for now I'm really happy with the silver medal because um, I know what I did wrong and I will fix it uh, uh, in the night eyes. This is the 400 meter IM Junior Men's Final. Jordan Eaton glides in to claim third place. This race was won by South Africa's Matthew Randall. And yeah, he congratulates second place winner, Egypt's Hamza Ben Lima. Our medalists take to the podium. This is the junior ceremony. Yo, just dead off the fly. Yeah, I was dead. Backstroke was not too bad. First stroke, yeah, I fouled it in my legs. I freestyle just brought it home. The girls under 17, 200 breaststroke finalists are ready to race. Four swimmers take on the first of four laps. The Cape Verdean, Jay Lapina, here with the black cap. Dear Noah Elendi from Egypt is on her left. Her teammate Rowan Aldamati is with her as they finish 100 meters. The green cap belongs to Catherine van Rensburg from South Africa. Van Rensburg will get this 236.17. Ladies and gentlemen. Two Egyptian swimmers make up the medalists of the 200 breaststroke. Jan Abdallah beat her teammate Hassanin to get the third place. Hannah Robertson leads Lee McMorrin to win the junior women's 200 freestyle. Jan Abdallah beat her teammate Hassanin to get the third place. It's really exhausting, but it's totally worth it. It needs a lot of hard work just to put it in these two minutes, but it's all worth it. 
uh, putting all what I practice on on the race and keeping my concentration high, higher than my tiredness, just to make all the things that I practice on and uh, focusing on the small tips like turning, streamline and all this stuff. In the water now, one lap of breaststroke. Two Egyptians and two South Africans lead the charge. Namibia, Mozambique and Kenya are also in this final. A second podium call for South Africa's Matthew Randall. 18-year-old Mohamed Mustafa was just outtouched into second place. The other Egyptian medalist is Sifa Mara, also 18 years of age. Our young female swimmers get their turn over 50 meters butterfly. The Egyptians, two South Africans, Morocco, Uganda and Zambia are in the water. And Caitlin De Lange from South Africa gets the win in 27-7-8. 14-year-old Sam al Samani from Egypt gets the silver medal. Farida Samra, also from Team Egypt, takes bronze. We move ahead to the late afternoon and evening finals. First up, the men's 100 butterfly final. Abeku Jackson from Ghana is getting most of the cheer from his home crowd. Lane 5 is Guy Brooks from South Africa. Guy Brooks took the junior title earlier, but now he's up against much tougher competition. Ali Kalfala is doing well from lane two. He's from the Egyptian squad. That Ghanaian, Ebeku Jackson, is showing his form now. The finalists turn after 50 meters. Algeria's Jihad Sahoud is in lane three. He is flying home. Guy Brooks reacts from lane five. The Algerian wins a great surge at the end. It is anyone's guess who's next, but what a race. Guy Brooks just gets ahead of Ghana's Jackson. Very, very close. Carl Fala from Egypt is just out of the medals into fourth place. I'm pretty happy about this race. Actually, it's not my PB, I'm still far away, but for the beginning of season, I'm really happy with that. And I hope I will be, I will be faster and faster during the season. And I will see what I can do in the end of the season. So now it's just the beginning of the season. I was not even expecting to go that fast. So I'm pretty happy to, to swim this time at, the, at this part of the year. Yeah, we are hard board, in a hard block of training, of course, because we are preparing uh, the different events in uh, December, so for the moment we are working hard and then we will see how the times are going to go in this. Lane 3, Rock 1, Katarina Sousa, Angola. The 200 freestyle final was highly anticipated at the Bukom International Pool. Angola, Egypt and RSA in this lineup. Rebecca Mida from South Africa was the clear favourite with the best entry time. She's in lane 4. Farida Samra from Egypt is in lane 7. Only four swimmers in this final. Mida has broken away. 
Jill aimed to get close to Leone Forster's championship record set in 2006. That stands at 201.92. Here you can clearly see her lead now. 20-year-old Kristen Mandel, also Team South Africa, looks to be next best. Then Farida Samra from Egypt in lane 7. They close into the wall after 100 meters. We move ahead to the final turn. It is Mida and Medell from South Africa. Katarina Souza from Angola finishes third. She is truly elated with her medal position. Very well done. This is Kaya Faftine from Mozambique. He is getting ready for the men's 400 individual medley final. Pedro Pinotas from Angola and Amin Salah Noah from Egypt. Ramzi Chukar from Algeria occupies lane 5. Ruan Russ from South Africa is in lane 4. They start with the butterfly leg. Chukar looks to have the early lead. He turns with Na from Egypt after 50 meters. Six laps to go, once they turn. Not much in it. Russ from South Africa has had a great backstroke leg. So too Yasina El Shama from Egypt in lane 3. The lead stays as is. Into the tough breaststroke leg. Ruan Russ has stretched his lead but there's still the freestyle ahead. Salah Noah from Egypt is closing in on his teammate in lane 3. Ras from South Africa stroking strong. Quite a lead as he gets ready for the final 100 meters of freestyle. The Egyptians just ahead of Ramzi Chakar from Algeria in lane 5. The final turn for the swimmers. This is a grueling tough race. Noah lying third. Ruan Russ wins for South Africa. 4 minutes 24 for 6. Yasina El Shama gets in for second. And gliding into third place, the second of the Egyptians, Salah Amin Noah. We talk to our winner. No, no, I'm very happy, obviously. I'm exactly the outcome that I wanted. I swam a PB with a second and a half and obviously managed to win the race. Going into the race, I was a bit nervous because obviously there's a lot of senior Oaks with really good PBs, um, but I managed to pull it off, so I'm just very happy. Um, I knew that some of the guys had really strong breaststrokes, so I needed to make sure that after the fly in the back that I had a bit of a lead so that if they catch up, you know, I still won't be in too much trouble. Um, probably no strategy. I, I guess this is, this is the gala where, you know, we just put South Africa first and we see how many people we can get onto the podium. I've been competing against Martin for so many years and, yeah, it's just a good competitor. A great performance at the 14th Africa Swimming Championships. Come on, yeah, come on. More action from Accra, Ghana in future programs. Summer is in full swing and the people are out in the hills and mountains and at the coast enjoying our South African sunshine. Today the Cradle Moon Conservancy is hosting one of the first open water swims and seeding events for the prestigious Aquele Midmar Mile in February next year. Just after sunrise the visitors and participants arrived at the resort in Mildersdrift 
just north of Johannesburg. You could feel the excitement amongst those who are entering. COVID has played havoc with our swim events in the past 18 months, and the swimmers could not wait to take part. Refreshments were placed, swimmers were marked, and double race tags were given to the entrance. But Mark Convener and organizer of the seating events, Wayne Ridden, has planted a great course on the Heritage Lake here at Cradle Moon. The first event of the morning is the three kilometer for men and women. After that, the three quarter mile or 1.2k events for various categories will take place. The competent Midmar team have all the bases covered. They are experienced and have many years of expertise staging these events. A good amount of people arrived to take part today. Starved of open water competition, they made the most of the opportunity. It really felt like a family outing. Just before 7 a.m., the 3K swimmers gather near the start to get their race briefing from Wayne Ridden. The route, race protocol, and safety issues were discussed. Feel what a start is like. I'm gonna go to the front by all means. Okay, eight meters to the boy number two, left shoulder. Turn, left shoulder again to boy number three. Okay, that is 165 meters. The lifeguards were in place, ready for a long morning of observation and assistance where necessary. Green caps for the 3K race. The better swimmers are urged to go in front. In this way, they won't be hampered by the slower swimmers and can record their best times possible. A water start and two laps of open water lie ahead. A little bit of water hyacinth was present on the water, but not enough to worry any of the swimmers. Number 75 is Danielle Masters. The men and women are competing together today. At least 82 swimmers are in the water and stroking. This is Clayton Kassebaum. Reno van Villach leads around the first marker. Let's hear from Wayne Ridden. Well, we're absolutely thrilled um, with the first swim here at Cradle Moon um, you know, in November. We've had a record entry for the first swim, so we're really thrilled. The weather played its part, obviously, always. Um, you know, but for me, personally, to see this many swimmers coming to um, Cradle Moon for the first swim, a seeding swim for Midmar Mile, the Quella Midmar Mile is definitely on um, next year. I'm sure that people want to hear these things, um, having come through COVID. And um, you know the, the the great thing is that the, this Cradle Moon event here, you know, is, is setting the tone because we've had that record entry. Um, the seeding swims are important to us for the swimmers to be able to be seeded at Midmar itself. Um, when we come to the February event, um, and we're expecting a great support uh, because everybody's hungry to get back to open water swimming. Pollard Ford swimming in the 41 to 50 category in view now. The age spread is from under 13 all the way through to 80 plus. This just proves that open water swimming is truly for everyone. Race number 69 is Muhammad Adam. He is currently in third place. Lying second is Ruan Breitenbach, teammate of our leader, Rainer von Willich. The top three have broken away, but are cautiously swimming the back straight. A bit of cat and mouse, no breakaways or surges just yet. While they navigate the route of the three kilometers, the visitors and spectators get breakfast and refreshments ready. Facilities at Cradle Moon have been revamped and many features added, a perfect venue for the event. The water flat and warm. No wind so early in the morning. Von Willich speeds up slightly as he approaches the halfway mark. 
the final marker before lap two. Breidenbach and Adam follow, capitalizing on the flat water. Ruan Breitenbach in view. Shane Ramsey, he is lying in fourth place. Clayton Kassebaum and Liam Searle. The beautiful Makalisberg in the background. We move ahead to the leaders. Stoll, Von Willich, Breitenbach and Adam. The swimmers do not feed in this event. The race is too quick. We can expect the leaders to finish in just more than 36 minutes. This is about 12 minutes per kilometer. The spectators gather on the banks to witness the swimmers go through the arch. 18.16 minutes through midway for Renner van Velich. Ruan Breitenbach looks to surge a bit through the arch. Then Mohamed Adam. Family and visitors take advantage of the restaurant and observation deck, a good vantage point to see the race unfold. Shane Ramsey follows the leaders, 18.51 at this stage. Liam Searle and Clayton Kassebaum go through. Then Collard Ford, Stefano Root, and Peter Jan van der Mava. Cassidy Dubell is the second female to go through. Here she is with own shifts. The rest of the field filter through the halfway mark. Ross Duncan in the 51 to 60 age group. Caitlin De Beer and Daniel Masters. Perfect weather, although there is now a slight breeze creating a small amount of chop in the water. And now, a big surprise. Ruan Breitenbach has gone past Rainer van Willich. It happened so quick near the final marker before the finish. It is early in the season, so we are reading too much into it. Our winner comes home. 36 minutes and 32 seconds. A very credible time for the swimmer from Pretoria. This is Mohamed Adam. But already through the finish, our second place swimmer, Rainer van Willich. It is good to see the consistency from Mohamed Adam. Third place from start to finish. Very well done. Mohamed Adam coming through in 38.04 third spot. Shane Ramsey has also been consistent fourth overall for him. He doesn't look tired at all. Clayton Kassabar manages to get ahead of Liam Searle on the last lap to grab the fifth spot. Peter Jan van der is next through. Is this our first female? Yes, it does look like it. Rachel Humphreys, a comfortable win for her. 42 minutes and 41 seconds. 13 and under, Claudia Dometer is the first 13 and under to finish. He laps one of the slowest swimmers at the finish. Our second female and first 13 and under female, Cassidy Dubell. She records her swim at 46.33. Next, another female, third overall and second in the 14 to 30 category, Madison Skorgi. Our top swimmers today were absolutely amazing. Um, we had um, Ruan Breitenbach come here and win the three kilometer uh, this morning in a, in a nice time, just over 36 minutes. 
Uh, so obviously, you know, our big build-up is um, the Aquila Midmore Mile will turn 50 in 2023. So this, um, this February 2022 is the 49th anniversary. We're building up to the 50th anniversary. So we want swimmers to come out and, um, and concentrate on this open water swimming with venues like this supporting them there's a conservancy fee here for them to put back into facilities like that in south africa you know it's important that we're giving something back from that side as well the quella midwell mile has got a huge charity section and this year we're going to be privileged to have a, a top german swimmer natalie pole come out and swim and she's going to do an amazing thing like some 16 miles on the friday and uh, we hope that South Africa gets behind somebody like that who has, um, has got a real, the credentials are amazing. And um, we're just privileged to have a person like her out. Here are our top three female finishers, followed at prize giving by the top males. But let's check the age category winners as we talk to the winners. I think it was very con uh, good conditions. It was a nice clear day. There wasn't too much waves. There was a little bit, but it was mostly flat. So it was a very good swim condition wise. Um, for the 3K, I was just trying to do a personal best and uh, I managed the personal best and the first place was kind of just a bonus. Um, I've been swimming open water about four years now and we're just going to see how far we can take it. Um, the water was quite nice. It was perfect, perfect temperature and the wind wasn't too strong on the 3k but I felt it a bit on the way back from the 1.2. Um, yeah, first one for the season um, and last year due to COVID so yeah, it was a great swim, great to get back in the water starting with the 3k. It um, was nice and quiet and yeah, I enjoyed it. Very fun day today. Um, my plan was to just slip him for the first lap and spare my energy so that I could just come back strong and hopefully overtake him, which I did. Um, it was good. I enjoyed, I enjoyed all of the races. Um, it's getting a little bit windy towards the end and a little bit uh, rougher to swim in, but otherwise it, it was a good training session. Um, no, out there it was, it was quite nice. Um, I knew from the start Ruan was going to be close to me, so I was, I was actually waiting for him to come past me on the first lap already. Um, but yeah, he only got to me on the second lap and yeah, when he passed me, I tried to stay with him as, as long as possible, but he just got the better of me on that 3K. The music added to the atmosphere. And um, our next event, 28th of November, so we're looking forward to that. If we had a record entry here, I'm sure we're going to see more people come along. No doubt. Catch the next event right here on Sunday, the 28th of November. 1.2 kilometer action highlights will feature in our next program. This has been Super Swimmer. I'm Derek Alberts. Please stay safe and thank you for watching.